Hello community, domination tips and it's time for World War again. I will give you um, an update about our World War, but before, because I don't know when I did it last time, let's take a little base update. You see both mortars are still upgrading and I can tell you guys, the more often you are online um, during the upgrades, it will feel like the, the upgrades will last forever. If you are not getting online that much often or that often, it feels like upgrades are getting done very fast and the more often you are, you are during the time of upgrade, it feels like forever. But nevertheless, when I'm ready, I will go for last air defense, like I mentioned sometimes, and then I also can start the towers. And the, the towers are a very, very happy topic because they are only costing about 4 million gold, so nearly nothing. And what is quite better, you only need about uh, seven days and only three workers. That means in total, uh, instead of upgrading three buildings like a mortar, I can do four towers. And so it will be huge faster due to the uh, reduced time of uh, upgrading and the reduced amount of people. Also, my generals are getting ready. In 51 minutes, I have two generals at level 16 and 90,000 oil, so nearly enough to upgrade two other generals uh, instantly. But it is impossible to do it instantly. Therefore, I will go on in the order and and next, again, uh, upgrade my Napoleon to level 17. Wow, level 17 already. That means only 5, 10, 10 levels to go. Then I have my MacArthur and my Napoleon at level 21. Uh, changings will be only significant to Napoleon because MacArthur is still riding a tank. Um, now, I think that's enough of my base. Let's go to the, uh, to the world tour and give a little update. We are playing against USA Dankness again <laughs> and USA Dankness did their I don't want to call it a bad strategy I want to call it um, a strategy which can be hardly improved because last time they did the same strategy and for all of you which uh, did not see my last videos um, USA Dankness is using a quite okay um, strategy which is also very strong but which has not nearly no reserves you see enemy number one has to attack number one of and two of us Enemy number two, number two, uh, three and four of us, number five, five and six. Only here we had some struggle because level uh, number six already were done and number seven multiple times got failed. So they had to split up. But otherwise, they are always taking this system of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, yes, now they mixed a little bit up, like you can see, but... Uh, it's only to the fact that they recognize that their system is quite not working <coughs> because they have um, planned in every of their attacks and this means all of their attacks have to go perfectly then their system is very good working but if you have uh, only one attack between which is just working not perfectly due to match or connection errors or even uh, bad planning some mistakes in the attack you have um, to use some reserves which you quite don't have because you have uh, planned in every attack and no one to reserve that's why we have always reserves um, I by the way if you are interested I can show you some pieces of our strategy which how we are making or how I am making if you are interested give me a little comment uh, in the comment section and I will photograph it up because I'm doing it doing it uh, on paper and then I can show you to you how we are planning. And uh, so far we we were really successful. I want to call it with this um, yes with this plan. So enemies are only able to get to 199 stars in total if they are not getting below. So uh, they cannot get the 200 stars. Actually, it's. 99.99% impossible for them. They have some attacks remaining, but these attacks are not straight strong enough to it to get five stars. The last uh, remaining five stars at our number six and at our number seven. These bases are quite too strong. Like you can see over here, this base is not far upgraded, but we have very many free spaces, good place traps, um, very. Mm, very complex thoughts made by the uh, the one who um, created the space and in total the space is not working like you can obviously see with the quick victory avoid but this space is avoiding the 100% and it's doing very um, successfully two guys and at global age I think attacked over here <coughs> with only one defense coalition other guys had severe um, offense coalitions active and the best of the both other attackers only got 51% that means um, nearly only two stars <coughs> I <coughs> sorry I have to do a cleanup at enemy number six 
Global Age, Framling. Like you can see, it's a pretty conservative layout. Nothing special. We have spread out houses at top, so tw uh, 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock, but also um, very symmetrical base layout. And so you can very good anticipate where the enemy traps are in this open spaces, for example, and in the side spaces, he have placed the buildings very close together, which is uh, in the first direction seeming very efficient. But in the second, you can see by that close, um, by buildings which are placed that close together, it's not that efficient because enemy can uh, very sure, 100% sure, uh, say and plan that there are no traps so rallying inside is quite no danger if you are using sabotage and other tactics quite wisely uh, my approach is i thought about coming from the left side to get rid of acropolis but i think coming from the right side is quite better because over here we have another two tank depots and we can get rid of the strongest bunker i definitely want to take out one sniper tower probably i have to think about taking the second sniper tower out with my planes just only to make sure. Castle is very exposed, so no thought about. Uh, I have to crash it in, in the late, late part of the game, of the attack. So, <clears throat> everything is quite ready for my attack. And let's go. Oh, come on. Sometimes the troop drop is really buggy. I don't know why. I lost all of my healing cards. Why? Sniper tower, I think. Hmm. So let's see how my troops are splitting up and why. Oh, having that split up attack is quite not good. But I think we are quite through this attack. Even when the split up of my troops was very bad indeed. I am re not rallying them on purpose because otherwise I think I will uh, disturb this attack too much. Okay, Kremels, so there will come some uh, ranged fighters out, uh, some infantry guys. Also we have some British uh, Royal Riflemen over here, wow, they are quite dangerous. I nearly have all of my artilleries, only one lost, that's uh, very good and over one minute to go. Ah, I will lose the second artillery, come on. No, <laughs> lost, oh, I lost three artilleries. And the next one. <laughs> oh, five artilleries, so bad. But the attack is done, come on, please kill these guys. What are you doing? <sighs> so here we are now. Uh, many attacks remaining at our side, many strong attacks and we only have to close down enemy number 12 and which has quite an okay layout, not very very strong and thought about but uh, quite okay. Um, in the last war I had to attack him with some uh, Enlightenment Age plus troops, so between Enlightenment Age capacity and Industrial capacity and it was quite no problem I think, so this time 
I think we also will have no problems at all. Only six stars, yes, N21 is complete open. Then we have 200 stars. Like I told you, enemies are not able to get to 200 stars because there are two strong bases at, us, at our side which have to be crashed. And enemies have only number two to attack. So if the en uh, enemy number two is quite smi um, smart, he will attack for the base which, where two stars are open. Then enemies are at 199 stars. And then only their number 15 and their number 16 can attack. And you see number 16 got only one star at our number, number 12 base. I'm quite sure he will not get to the 200 stars. But even if the enemies would come to 200 uh, stars, it would be only a stalemate. In total we have one one time against uh, USA Denkness and the other time will be stalemate or another win. So I'm very very happy to this fact. And so guys we'll see us soon. Your domination tips.